Hello guys and welcome back to another blind reaction. Today is going to be My Little Pony Season 8, Episode 20, The Washouts. What's it called? The Washouts. And yeah, this is in the morning. I woke up very early. I couldn't really sleep that well. And I was like, oh shit. Australia released another episode. So they released Episode 20 as well. And... Hey, that's good for me. <laughs> no problems here for me. So maybe Australia has always released two episodes a week. And I have just forgotten that. So the thing I know about this episode is that it's a Scootaloo rare not first rarity. A Scootaloo Rainbow Dash episode. Which for me was like, oh god no. But then I saw that it said that it school has found a new hero. Then that's all I know. So it's a Skulu Rainbow Dash episode where Skulu has found a new hero. And I'm like, thank God for that. I mean I there's I have not tried to hide or anything. I really do not like the dynamic of between Skulu and Rainbow Dash. I think it's a very unhealthy relationship between those two. And I mean, I joke about this a lot, but it's kind of true. Parental Glidance killed Rainbow Dash, and the one we have now is just a husk of a character now. Which is sad. I really like Rainbow Dash, but anytime she has anything to do with Scootaloo, she becomes shit. I mean, the amount of pressure Scootaloo puts on Rainbow, it's terrible. And the one time Rainbow Dash actually spoke her feelings up, the episode was all about, ah, Rainbow, don't fucking speak your feelings. Don't fucking say the truth. Don't say anything that you like. You have to pander to your fan. Scooter lose your fan. Come on. Who cares if she puts so much pressure on you and you feel like you have to live up to this fucking god, this god image she has for you. Even though it's very unhealthy for you and it makes you feel bad, who gives a fuck what you want, Rainbow? It's all about what Scootaloo wants. That's the only thing that matters. And for some reason, Bronies like that. Maybe because Bronies actually want, you know, the things that they are fanatics about to just bend over and do absolutely everything they want. Probably. So, anyways, that's my ranting of that. So, I'm kind of excited for this. It could be very nice if it is kind of like an episode where... where Why do I always think of rarity? R every time there's a pony with an R sound, R-A. A rainbow dash. She, she starts going, you know what? I'm finally free. Alright, sorry for that. My phone. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, let's just start the episode. Oh. It starts off with, Look at- Fuck off, cults. Get these cults out of there. Oh, not cult. The stallion. Kick the stallion out. Oh, that's great. Good job. Which I am the president, founding, and only member, the Washouts Fan Club! <gasps> nice. No, my little pony, please tell me it's not gonna be Rainbow is gonna be jealous. Oh no, I mean, I can understand why Rainbow would be jealous. I mean, it is something Rainbow probably would be, you know, like... She would be, I mean, if you look at Merduel, this... It makes sense why she's jealous. Oh, hey, Scootaloo. But I don't like it. In the oh, what's this? Did I interrupt your fan club meeting? Hey, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Oh, uh, you know, mm, stuff. Uh, Stick up for yourself, Scootaloo. Tell her. It's no use pretending. I heard everything when I was outside eavesdropping like I do for every meeting. 
You eavesdrop on every meeting? That's weird. Well, sure, it, it is. sounds weird when you say it out loud. And I probably shouldn't because eavesdropping is wrong, but still, why are you starting a new fan club? Because Just there's another pony she's interested in now. Explore other fan clubs. <gasps> Stick up for yourself, Scootaloo. What is uh, the washout? Only the newest and greatest and only stunt troop in Equestria. Stunt troop? How can I explain it? Like the Wonderbolts, just 20 bajillion percent cooler! 20 bajillion? They do all sorts of things. Ugh, fucking kill me. Why did I have to do that? Like 20 percent, man. Boring old flight and formation junk? Are you just repeating everything I say? Only because my brain feels like it's strapped to one of those rockets about to explode. So you do get it! Aren't they awesome? Oh god. Can you believe she actually said that? Oh, Stell in the background, yeah. kill her. It's kinda weird. I mean, she basically said that the Wonderbolts aren't cool. And, and it kinda That's her that opinion. That was cool either. But, uh, we all know that's crazy. I mean, I'm definitely not worried about her looking up to some pony else. <laughs> uh, we know you are, Rainbow. No need to pretend. Well, I'd understand if you were. It'd be like if Apple Bloom started loving bananas more than apples. <laughs> Y'all tell me if that ever happens, you hear? <laughs> but if that happens, I'm gonna fucking kill Apple Bloom, alright? Bury her corpse. They're doing a show in Ponyville this weekend? Wow, they do look pretty amazingly uh, unamazing. <laughs> Trying so hard to look amazing is what I mean. Nice save, Twilight! <laughs> yeah, Pinkie Pie is artistic. Holy shit. Mm, I knew we should have lined up last Makes sense, autism runs in that family. For making us late, who would have guessed extreme chocolate air show cupcakes would take an extremely long time to bake? And extremely with a big X at the start Look of at the this. words. It's a total wonderful rip off. What do you mean? The show hasn't even started yet. Yeah, but look at what we're sitting on. Hello. The Wonderbolts have bleachers too. We practically invented sitting on bleachers. Ugh. And look at that! Pops That's good, Rarity. That's good. Being like, ugh, this bitch. I really hope this episode is about Rainbow accepting that, you know, someone that school has can like some pony other than her. It would be good for Rainbow. And Scootaloo. So, so far. I'm kind of liking what I think is going to happen. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to be pissed. Say it with me now. The washout's official motto. Leave before you look. I did not understand what they said. Something before you look. Remember, ponies, nice, a nice wink. And this looks like an all mare team, so that's good. That's very good. So that's one point above the Wonder Bolts. I just saw her collar on her. Is that lightning dust? It is. It's lightning dust. Good job getting into it, Rainbow. Come on. No need to pretend. Alright, so it's lightning dust. And who else? I can't just go up and talk to them. You can if you're with me. After all, one of the reasons there's a Rainbow Dash fan club is because I'm fearless. Observe. 
That's nice. Oh, there is a stallion. And Jesus Christ, he looks shit. That's fucking really scar. Edgy. I like Actually, the purple one. The, the short one looks like shit. Should be killed. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's a fucking OC. Okay. Look at that head. What the fuck? No, I mean literally. Join the club. We're called the washouts because we all used to be Wonderbolts just like you. <laughs> Until we washed out. No way! Alright. Yeah. Uh, That's a good name. Thunder. I got booted out of Wonderbolt Academy because of flagrant disregard for hazardous weather. If doing barrel rolls through 900 million volts of electricity in a raging thunderstorm is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Cool! <laughs> this is Short Fuse. Oh, nice to meet you. What's your story? Angry issues get on my back! Uh... Okay. So Haha, <laughs> so funny. That's so fucking funny, right? Holy shit, he's a good character. Fuck off. Nice. Hi. <laughs> Why did they have to in include that fucking short stallion? Boot him out. Why did he even have to be in this episode? Fucking... Such fucking brony pandering with that character. Your friend got me kicked out of the Wonderbolts. Oh, that's... Uh, less cool. And it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Great to see you, Wing Pony. I heard you're a full-fledged bolt now. Hey, yeah, Wing Pony. I'm still mad at me. Look, was it wrong of me to endanger the lives of your friends? Yeah, but hey, now I only endanger these knuckleheads. <laughs> Don't call me knucklehead. <laughs> Fuck off. Come on, you know you miss me. me and I like her and I like the other. They can have a good... Really? Um... Chemistry, yeah, kind of like, really? yeah, it was wrong of me endangering them, but now I'm in danger people who are willing to be endangered, that are in on it. That's good. Correctly, I had you beat by half a second. Only because when I went, I cranked up the dizziness factor. <laughs> well, I'm glad it all worked out. Your show was pretty dynamite. Want another secret? We basically ignore everything the Wonderbolts ever taught us about safety. Well, we do have safety rules for a reason. Don't listen to her, kid. All the <laughs> rules were just ways of keeping their little club exclusive so they could feel good about themselves. It's not about making any pony feel bad. It's about finding the best flyers. The best of the best. I started the washouts because I believe any pony can be the best of the best. You know, Rolling Thunder is going to be out for a while. Ah, during the finale, I caught the old hind leg and the crushinated jaws of smash a lot. Pat and I mean, uh, yeah, There's she's like a an fucking Australian, but. Join up. <gasps> I appreciate the offer, but I'm already a Wonderbolt. I'll do it! Can I do it? Uh, let me think. No. <laughs> you can't fly. You. Aw, you're cute. But technically, you haven't washed out of the bolts, which is kind of our thing. And also, no. Oh, what if I joined and dropped out super quick? That's it. You're coming with me. Where Fuck off. To hear what the actual R Rainbow, you're fucking you kidnapping Scootaloo. For the washouts. Say hi to Spitfire for me. I mean, what are you planning? I mean, the fact that that Australian pony gave her a little wink. Kind of tells me that they are up to something. Smash a lot, patent pending. <laughs> what? See, this is what I was telling you about. I got this. I mean, why should she care? You know what happens when something goes wrong with the crushinator jaws of Smash a lot, patent pending? You end up in a full body winged hoop gas drinking through a straw. But with enough practice. Practice? 
Well, I did do that. Let me give you a different scenario. You're probably saying this is like a fucking video. terrible. I'm gonna go out there and I know they're trying to make like a what's called drill sergeant, but they're doing such a horrible job in it. You're gonna find out it's pretty hard to stunt tricks in a full body wing and hook cat dragging through a straw. That's terrible. And the voice acting is terrible as well. It's kind of like she's afraid of screaming. Look. You think you got it made in the shade? Well, things are gonna be pretty shady indeed. When you can't go out oh god, they, they killed Spitfire as well. So not only have <laughs> the Scootaloo Rainbow Dash pair killed Scootaloo Rainbow and Rainbow's parents, now they also killed Spitfire. Sorry, that was a little intense. I just want to make sure you don't get hurt. That way you can follow in my hoofsteps. Every pony's dream, right? No. Or, like, follow your wing flaps. Same difference. Thanks, super talented flyer, for clearing up what I should do. Clearing things up is one of my <laughs> specialties. Now, come on. Let's come on, Skirilu. Tell her. Rainbow, I can't fucking up. fly, alright? I'm never gonna become a Wonderbolt. I just thought of a great way to raise awareness for your original fan club. You know, the one about me? How about a silent auction where every item is just a picture of yours truly? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That makes me seem too egotistical, doesn't it? Oh, oh, maybe if they're framed, it's like, wow, she's so humble, you think? Scootaloo? Uh, Scootaloo? Oh, have they expanded the CMC clubhouse? My fault, my fault. Sorry, I... Twilight? Uh, it could have given sorry, Twilight a concussion, um, Rainbow. You got that stuff so you could rip it up and throw it off a cliff? They were doing an autograph session before practice. Seriously? Ugh. You haven't seen Scoot, have you? Actually... And Twilight is a fan. I can't believe Scootaloo ditched me to watch them practice. Well, probably not a fan. She just enjoyed the show. That's kind of the whole draw. It's exciting. But it's like the harder I Why would she have even three posters? I can understand two for the two mares, but why would you want that stallion's autograph? Like a good role model, then hope she makes the right decisions. But what if she chooses them over me? She's gonna get hurt. Well, that's her choice. I know some pony else who might get hurt if that happens. Maybe you're right, but this isn't about me. I mean, Twilight's wing animation right there looked very terrible. Really working hard on this new stunt. What kind of sorry excuse for it to be you damn with this? Is? Sorry, oh Dad. god, he's Crap so bad. Fuck. He himself is like sandwich. I'm not signing that abomination. Well now now he's three points you, lower you? on the oh, the end score of this episode. Just him. Fuck. I appreciate you helping me find her, but I can apologize for trying to make her quit liking you. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure she still likes us. I mean, that's a nice smile, and that hey, smug guys. smile. Now we go way back, but I can't let her do this. I don't it's not up to you. Standing up for me. Obviously, you do. But you're not. Fa you're not blood related. You're not family. Ugh. Let me guess. You'll be in a full body wing and hook cast, dragging through a straw. That doesn't even sound like Spitfire. <laughs> That's it. We're leaving. Fuck off. Just because I look up to you doesn't mean I have to be you. But based on Good your definition of what makes some pony great, I have bad news. I'll never be the best of the best or a wonderful. Boom! Good job, Scootaloo. But not being able to fly doesn't mean I can't do something awesome, like strapping my scooter to a multi-stage liquid fuel rocket and jumping twenty-two ways. 
Yeah, because this is what Scooter actually wants. She's a daredevil. She's like, oh, what's his name? The guy who used to. Uh, who used to jump over with the motorcycle? Just jump over everything, you know. You're right. You're your own fool, and you have to make your own. <laughs> your own fool. Good. Because I already have. Good. Oh, I really hope it's not like Spitfire. It's like I'm gonna get revenge on Rainbow. I'm gonna take her fan and injure her. I really hope it's nothing, nothing like that. Oh God. Apja was like, holy shit. I don't want to get stabbed to death by <laughs> Pinkus' hair. In just a moment, the newest member of the washouts will be rocket sledding down that hill. Up that ramp. And over all 22 wagons to land on the other side. Yeah, they are going for that. Fuck, what's the name of that? That stunt guy that I'm thinking of. For some reason, I think his last name was Gay or Dick. Something like that. And they're like, if you make it, call me whatever the fuck you want. Dangerous? Nah. Well, maybe a little. Has any pony tested it before? Where's the fun in that? Yeah, I mean, Skidaloo, that's how they roll. Are you the president of my fan club or not? Of course, it's just you wouldn't want to get impeached for dishonoring my wishes, would you? I... is that a thing? Be your own pony school. If you don't feel comfortable with it now, you can end it. Okay. I mean, I understand the prayer pressure. She's gonna do it. Alright, fuck you, lightning dust. Please tell me that's gonna explode. That doesn't mean I can't swoop in and save you from time to time. If I'd known you were gonna bail, I would have done the trick myself. Great! So you won't mind how that rope's about And to she like just that. stepped into the rope. Yes, and that's exactly what she basically said. I mean, she said, I like to work with people who don't fucking mind getting hurt themselves. I'm not gonna put... I think we should cancel the Washouts fan club. Because I know a fan club that could use some new members. The Rainbow Dash fan club. He's gonna be like the Scootaloo fan club. Please don't tell me. No. Welcome to the first ever meeting of the newest fan club for the <sighs> previously underappreciated pony in Ponyville. With founding member and President Rainbow Dash presiding, it's the Scootaloo fan club. Yeah! And uh, yeah, Twilight yeah, carrying her. Eavesdropping on your own fan club isn't weird at all. I mean, not that you probably need. Yeah, it's right. So, little pony. So, I mean, obviously, they didn't need to be carried by Twilight, but okay. Yeah, this episode. Uh, it wasn't. 
I am a bit disappointed in it, but I don't think it was a bad episode. I just feel that it was squandered opportunity or squandered potential. Um, I mean, I am glad that they didn't make it out that, uh, what's her name? Lightning Dust was like trying to get back at Rainbow. That's a good thing. Whoever wrote this episode, good job in that. Um, and also good job in the fact that now there's a precedent of Skulu actually being like, even though she's like, you know, I'm never going to be fucking like you. I'm never fucking going to be a Wonderbolt material. I can't fucking, I can't fly. I'm handicapped. I mean, if they ever make it so Skulu can fly, I'm going to be a bit pissed at that. Because I actually <coughs> like the fact that Scootaloo just, she can't fly. She does not have the determination and the willpower that uh, bulk biceps have. Or bulk biceps has. So, yeah, I mean, after, oh, fuck, what was it called? On the Road to Friendship. Which was, episode 19 was the best, then the mean 6, and then this one. So this is the third best episode of this season. So, I mean... Fuck, that... That's what I think, if I do not include the fucking stallion in the washout. The stallion in the washout makes it so this episode goes from like a 5 to like a 2. <laughs> you know? Oh, I really hated him. He was on the level of Mudbriar, you know. Terrible, terrible, terrible pony. Um, yeah, that has to be like... That character, for me, feels like such brony bait. Like, such like... This is a character that bronies will like, you know. So, yeah... I don't like those types of character. The characters are just in there for for the bronies. The bronies gonna like this guy. And I'm sure they are. I'm sure the bronies will eat it up. And they're gonna laugh like fucking morons. But then again, if that's what they like, then that's what they like, you know. Um, but man, them pandering to bronies makes this show worse for me. And I only care about what I like in the show, not what others like. So yeah, I mean, I kind of liked the previous episode because it went, oh, the, the Trixie Starlight episode on the road to friendship because it, it went back to the show f for little girls, but that other people can enjoy as well. They did not feel like pandering to bronies. This episode they did. So yeah, oh god. 